Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science, it's Mike Chen. Can you believe it's the end of the year already? I mean, I mentioned this before, but this time seemed to have sped up for any of you guys out there, or is it just me? I still remember back in high school or middle school during summer break or on the weekend, I would wake up around nine or 10, go have breakfast, then go to the mall, go to Aladdin's castle, oh my God, Aladdin's castle, then hit up a movie, walk outside, it will still only be about two o'clock. And nowadays I wake up at six, I, I eat, I do one thing and the day is over. Well, maybe it's because I eat a lot, but but still, I mean, it does feel like time has sped up. So here we are again, end of the year. And every year around this time, I like to take a look back at some of the major scientific breakthroughs of the year. And, and before we start on that, I do look at a lot of the messages and comments I get on all my channels. And uh, what, one of the biggest feedback is, I dress very, how should I put it, mildly, suckily. And I, and I actually know this because I'm a t-shirt and jeans kind of person, mainly because I, I have no style. I hate going shopping because I just end up picking more t-shirts. So that's why when this company Baumfeld reached out to me and offered to have one of their stylists pick out my clothes I said, yeah, sure. Let's let's do it And basically how this works is that I go on this website I, I select the clothes I, I typically like to wear you fill out a questionnaire and then a stylist will email you with with some of the clothes He or she picked out just for you and then when they pick out the clothes You can either choose to keep them or cancel them It's all up to you and once you get the clothes you have seven days to either keep it or send some or all of them back and this, so this is this is this is what I got. I figured, you know what? I just dress myself today. Tape measure, and you guys can let me know which one I should keep or return. But I got this, this, ooh, maybe. And they actually look pretty good. And they have this thing called keep more, get more. So if you do keep four or more, you get 20% off your water. Three, you get 15, and two, you get 10% off your water. Basically, the more you keep, the more you save. And uh, this, this, this is a little step out of the box for me. Anyway, if you want to try this service out, there is an exclusive offer for my viewers. And it's $25 off your first purchase. So if you want to take advantage of that, just go to Baumfeld, B-O-M-B-F-E-L-L.com slash Beyond Science. The link is also available for you in the description box below. All right, now let's talk about these scientific breakthroughs. Our first entry concerns the red planet Mars. And this is a conclusive breakthrough that happened this year has been the finding of liquid water on the planet. Mars, of course, has plenty of ice due to the thin atmosphere, but up until recently, researchers were searching for signs of something flowing. And this year, they finally got their feet wet, if you know what I'm saying. The water was detected by a radar instrument called Mars's found aboard the European Space Station. And beneath the solar polar ice cap is said to be a lake some 12 12 miles in width. It's about a mile underneath the ice and it's thought to be at least three feet deep. Now this doesn't mean we're going to be finding Martians anytime soon, but running water is a good indicator that life could exist on the planet. And experts can now follow the water to see where it goes and discover if, I don't know, anyone or anything might be drinking it. Next up, as more and more people are living longer, there's an increased demand for anti-aging products. And there's even researchers out there working on technology that could essentially allow people to live forever. I don't know why anybody would want to. I mean, just being 300 looking like the Crypt Keeper wouldn't be the greatest thing. That's why there has been a huge boost in anti-aging products and technology. And this year, a team of Boston researchers revealed that they found a way to reverse aging in mice. So if you don't know, aging in mammals is related to a specific molecule called NAD, which is necessary ultimately for survival. And as life would have it, or evolution, NAD drops off over time, which leads to diseases that are specifically age-related. Dr. David Sinclair, one of the researchers, found a way to boost NAD levels in mice through a dietary supplement. And guess what? The older cells in mice became younger and subsequently overall health improved. So what this means is that Dr. Sinclair hopes that one day supplements, dietary supplements could be created that could reduce the development of age-related diseases such as Alzheimer's. Also 2018 was an interesting year for the human species. You probably heard of Neanderthals. What about Denisovans? They're believed to have lived alongside Neanderthals in Eurasia 50,000 years ago. After a fragment of bone was discovered in a Denisovan cave in Siberia, a startling fact has been established, whereas before it was theorized that the two early human groups procreated together, but there really wasn't any evidence. The fragment, which is believed to come from a teenage girl, has led researchers to conclude that she was the product of a union between a Neanderthal and a Denisovan. This means that the two groups were definitely mixing it up, and it adds another fascinating layer to the human story. This year has also been really significant for the treatment of blindness. AMD, or age-related muscular degeneration, typically affects older 
older patients. Over half a million suffer from it in the UK alone. Basically, a person's vision is gradually destroyed from the middle until they go blind. And there are two types of the disease, wet and dry. The breakthrough relates to the wet conditions where a study in London has yielded remarkable results. Wet AMD is caused by blood vessels in the eye leaking and damaging the retina. But by using stem cells, researchers have created a patch that can be placed over the damaged area. This means that patients who struggle to read one word before can now read dozens, giving people real hope for the future. And finally, our last breakthrough involves something mysterious from deep space. In the eyes of Antarctica, a small particle called a neutrino was found. Nobody knew exactly where it came from, but it turned out that it had been on an extraordinary journey. The neutrino traveled to Earth from a blazar, which is a type of galaxy. As well as neutrinos, the blazar emits gamma rays. The finding basically gives us an insight into what is out there in the universe from a perspective we never really knew about before. And unlocking the secrets as to the neutrino's origin has a really excited scientists all around the world who are going to use this little particle as part of a new field of study, which they're referring to as high energy neutrino astronomy. And by studying these and cosmic rays, researchers hope our knowledge of how things work beyond our planet will receive a huge boost. And it seems like every year I do these videos, science has taken a quantum leap every single time. I mean, now we're talking about living in other planets, living in outer space, potential cure for diseases we thought were uncurable just a few years ago. So maybe this whole beating death thing, not the greatest idea, but could potentially happen. And maybe it could even develop something that could slow down time for me where I, I, I could just get my old accounting job back. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.